Hey, 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 awesome people. Welcome back. Mr. C here with you for another Fractions video. Make sure if you learn anything new at all, click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. This video, we are going to subtract mixed numbers with like denominators using models. And this will be our practice problems video. If you missed the teaching video, it is in the description below. Check that out. Also in the description, you will find everything we have done for fourth grade fractions. You will find everything we have done for third grade fractions and everything we have done for second grade fractions. Lots of videos to help you get better at math. Again, this video is going to be our practice problems video for subtracting mixed numbers with like denominators using models. Let's get started. Well, here we are with our first problem in this video. Make sure you have a growth mindset before we get started. We say it every video here at Math and Mr. C. Having a growth mindset is really important because if we don't, we're not going to get better. Okay, growth mindset means that we use our mistakes to help us get better. We practice and practice and practice, and we don't give up. We know that if we don't get something, we just don't understand it yet. Okay, that's why we keep working at it. So if you missed the teaching video, make sure you check that out because this is going to be our practice problems video where we are going to just jump into solving some of these mixed numbers. All right. So what we're going to do here is we are going to subtract four and two fourths minus one and one fourths. And first thing I'm noticing is that both of these mixed numbers, their fractions have the same denominators. That's really good to know because if they didn't, that would be an extra step for us. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show four and two fourths on the screen. So I need to show a model of four and two fourths because what we're going to do is subtract one and one fourth. So here is one whole. I'm going to color it in. draw myself another one again what you could do and I'm not doing right now is whenever you are drawing these models these are our whole models because they represent a whole number I'm not breaking them into fractional pieces but what you could do and you've seen in my other videos is that I could break them into fourths and the reason I sometimes do it and I sometimes don't is just a preference you know you need to know how to do both ways so I recommend being able to represent that and show that each of these models can be broken into fourths but you don't always have to do that okay so here is four holes write that down and then we have two fourths so let me get two fourths up here as well so here is four equal size sections and we need to color in two out of the four. So here's one fourth and here is two fourths. Okay, take a look, make sure that my model matches what you've got. I've got four and two fourths, one, two, three, four, and I've got two fourths represented here. And we need to subtract one and one fourth. And to do that a couple ways, you could either just erase one and one fourth from your model or you can just mark it out. And I like to mark it out. It helps me see it a little bit better. I always start with the fraction. So let's subtract 1 fourth. So there I am subtracting 1 fourth. Okay, there's minus 1 fourth. Now I need to subtract a whole number. So I'm going to mark out this whole fraction or excuse me, not the whole fraction, the whole model because it's a whole number. So I marked out, I subtracted one whole, subtracted one fourth, subtracted one whole. What do we have left? What does our model show us? What do we have left? We've got one, two, three. We've got three holes and we have one fourth left as a fraction. So there's our answer. 4 and 2 fourths minus 1 and 1 fourths, this is what it would look like. We drew the model in red. We subtracted 
the green fraction, excuse me, the green mixed number, one and one fourth, and then all we had to do was count up what we had left, and that was three and one fourth. All right, take a look and see. Where are you confused? What doesn't make sense? Where are you lost? Figure those spots out, ask for some help. Teachers, parents, a couple things I wanna point out to you. Reminder, they can divide their mix, or excuse me, their whole numbers into fourths if you would prefer them do that. It's a good way to kind of help them keep track of this is four fourths, which is also equal to one whole. It's a great way to remind them, but they don't have to do that as well, okay? It's just really a preference thing. Depends on where your students are at, okay? Students, ask yourself where you stuck, where you lost, what doesn't make sense. Stick with it, growth mindset, use your mistakes. Let's try this next one. Next problem on the screen, we've got two and five six minus one and three six. Again, feel free to pause me, try this one on your own. I'm noticing that our fractions for both mixed numbers had the same denominator, so no extra steps there. We should be able to get to solving. So we're starting off with two and five six. Let's draw that. Let's draw two and five six. So here is one hole. Let me shade that in. Here is one hole, and this one here I actually will break into six just because there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let me get rid of the background here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's one hole. Draw another model to represent our next hole. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Color in the whole thing. Some of you I know like to use circles or squares or other models. That's totally fine. Just make sure you're making them the same size. Okay. So here is two holes. Now our fraction is five, six. So let me color in five, six. Break it into six. Color in five out of the six. Here's one six, two six, three six, four six, and five six. All right, here we go. Make sure my model is correct, and then we are going to subtract one and three six. Let's start off with the fraction. Subtract three six. So here's one sixth, here's two sixth, and here is three sixths. Okay, we subtracted three sixths. Now we're subtracting one whole. So we need to subtract one whole, subtract the whole thing. There we go. Make sure we subtract it correctly. We subtracted three sixths, one sixth, two sixths, three sixths. We subtracted one whole. There we go. Now, let's get our answer. Count up what we have left. What are our model? What's our model showing us? Our model is showing us that we have one whole and we have one six, two six. There we go, there's our answer. So, take a look and see where'd you make a mistake? What doesn't make sense? I love using models whenever we are learning how to subtract mixed numbers because it really helps us to be able to see what we are doing. Okay, if you just ask me what this looked like, you know, two and five, six, minus one and three, six, sometimes it's hard to even picture in our head what that looks like. That's why I love using models. Remember, using your hands, drawing models, using manipulatives, those are great ways to learn. Don't be embarrassed to use those things, okay? Well, let's try one more. Yeah, let's do it, one more. All right, last one here for us. We've got five and one half minus two and one half. So let's see what's going on here. First thing I'm noticing about this problem is if you look at those mixed numbers, both of them have denominators in their fractions of two. So that's good news for us because that means that we're gonna be able to just jump into solving this 
problem, okay? As you'll notice, feel free to pause me as I'm going along. Try this one on your own. What I'm doing is I am drawing five holes right now because that is what we have. We have five holes and we've got one half. So, so far, I've got three holes. Here is four hole and we'll have five hole and then we'll need to get our fraction drawn. So there's five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get, I'm gonna get rid of those, yep. Let's get our fraction shown here. Break that in half, whoops, change it to the pencil. There we go. And we'll show one half on the screen. All right, here we go. We've got five and one half, one, two, three, four, five. And here's a half. Now, let's subtract two and one half. Change my color to orange. And let's do it. Subtract the fractions first. So we're subtracting one half. There we go, there's minus one half. Now let's subtract two holes. So there's one hole. There is two holes. Make sure we subtract everything we needed to. There's a half. There's two holes, one hole, two holes. What is our answer? Well, what does our model show us? How much do we have left over? What's our, what's our when we uh, subtract it, what's our difference? One, two, three. Our answer is three holes. Our answer would just be three, right? You wouldn't say three holes, but you can say three holes because technically in our model here, we had three whole models that were shaded in. All right, so there you have it. There is our answer for this one. There's three problems we've done. Ask yourself, where are you stuck at? What isn't making sense? Where are you lost? Try some on your own, all right? Give it a shot, ask for some help. If you need me, my contact information is at the end of this video. Feel free to reach out. Let me know how I can help. All right. Also, if you learn anything new at all, make sure you click that like and subscribe button. Join us as we continue making math understandable and challenging. That's all I have for you today, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. C, out.